life is full. I'm clean. That's the end of next week's check. Hey, how about an advance on the following week? Sure, if you want to take it out in chips. Can any of you boys tell me where I can find Mr. Nick Crulon? First door on your right. Thanks. Remember where we were. Yeah. Sorry, boys. The boss is dictating. I didn't know he could spell. Same old Pearl. Same old Nick. <laughs> Same old trick. Draw two, Bernard, and put them on his account. On whose account? His. You guys are wearing out all my pencils. This one's on the house. If you insist. Stubborn, isn't he? Heads up. Hiya, Nick, old pal. Haven't seen much of you lately. Mm. If you'll uh, pardon us, please. Uh, we ought to have a game sometime. Uh, how are you, Nick, old boy? A long time no see, huh? Of course, you know my old pal, baby. I mean, Boomer. I don't think the young lady's had that doubtful pleasure, however, Miss... Uh, Miss... I'm Pearl. Miss Pearl. Boomer Benson. Well, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'd like you to know my pal, Jeff Collins, but uh, I want to warn you against cultivating his acquaintanceship. Well, if you'll please excuse us, the young lady's come all the way from Chicago. She's a little tired. <laughs> Here's to Pearl. What's the matter, you sick? No, it's just that I've been thinking. You've been doing what? Well, I'm afraid that you wouldn't understand, Jeff, but there's more to life than just drinking and fighting and chasing around. Oh, there is. Uh-huh. Why didn't you tell me you got hit in the head with a pine tree? Now, look, Jeff, I've been brooding all day. First time I've ever heard it called that. Well, go on. Well, when I saw Pearl, I began to think about a family and motherhood and, and the finer things in life. When you saw Pearl? The, the time has come for me to settle down. Now, look, Boomer, old boy. I know she's quite a dish, but let's not kid ourselves. She's strictly a blue plate special. Oh, I wasn't thinking about her. I was thinking about somebody that's, that's worthy of me. And I'll break it up, boys. Serious talks are not allowed in the Skyline Cafe. We weren't speaking seriously, Nick. We were speaking of women. Oh, well, that's perfectly all right, then. There are no more interesting subjects than women and uh, money. And uh, speaking of money... Which we weren't? Uh, we are now. Him and me. How would you like to work for me by the mile, Jeff? For you? I've got the thickest stand of timber in Twin Rivers County. You win in a poker game? How'd you get, sonny boy? Jeff, you're the best camp push in the whole state. I'm making you the first offer. I'm sorry, Nick. We never subcontract. Well, I'll give you a scale and a hundred dollar bonus for every hundred thousand board feet you deliver to the Moorheimer Mill before April 1st. We only work for established and legitimate lumber companies. I see. Well, times are changing, Collins. Logging isn't what it was before the war. The boom is on. Ex-GIs like you boys need housing. And it's our patriotic duty to see that they get the material. An independent operator like me has got a chance now. Together, we can go places. Well, of course, if you want to work for wages the rest of your life, well, it's OK with me. Why didn't we take it? We don't work for people we don't like. Where are we going? i have to get some fresh air. Well, I think I'll stick around a while. Okay, baby face, but don't get yourself in any trouble without me around to pull you out, huh?
Busy. That deal you offered Jeff, I'll take it. I thought you two boys always worked together. Well, a guy can't side push for a pal all his life. There comes a time in a man's life when he's got to step out for himself, the, the shoulder responsibilities. That's the kind of talk I like to hear, Mr. Benson. Sit down. You've got yourself a deal. There's a little matter of signing a few papers first. Nick, I've changed my mind. How's this? I'll take that deal. Sorry, Jeff, you're too late. Huh? What do you mean? I've already made a deal with Boomer. Okay, babyface, when do we start? We don't. I do. Huh? Where are you? Double-crossing crook. I turn my back for five minutes, you steal my job. What do you mean? Look, he can't work without me. I'm his brain. Brain? No, 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 no. Wait a minute, boys. I've got an idea. Jeff, you've got a deal. Are you trying to welch on me? No, no, Boomer, listen. There's enough work for both of you. I've got the timber rights to the whole Twin Rivers County. More land than five of you guys can log in five years. Now, why don't you sign up to clear the south branch of the river, Boomer? Jeff, you take the north. You can hire your own crews and push your own camp. What do you say? Suits me. Well, if it suits him, I can put up with it, too. And I'll tell you what I'll do just to make it a little more interesting. My contract calls for a half million board feet in the mill pond by the 1st of April. The man who delivers it first gets a $1,000 bonus. How's that? A thousand? That's right. OK, baby face? You're on. <laughs> you know, of course, this is just like taking candy from baby. What do you mean? Why, you couldn't put a stick in the water if it wasn't for me. Brains, huh? Know how, that's what it takes, and that's something you ain't got. Why, you wall-eyed flunky, if it wasn't for me, you'd still be whistle punk and a high tack crew. Yeah, well, who put your haywire outfit on the profit side? Me, that's who, me! That's gratitude for you. I take this lump of sawdust and mud and try and make a man of it. You see what happens. Look at him. Out of me? Why, well, you couldn't make a man out of me if it's the last That's thing you right. did. But what I mean is that... Now, remember, I've got to have a delivery by the 1st of April. There's no bonus. That's all. Hey, Benai, draw two. Yeah, draw two for me, too. asking the same question. Trains on time, Josh? Trains on time? Don't make no difference one way or the other. Train on time, Josh? No, it's 24 hours late. 24 hours? Yeah. Are you kidding? What's that I just heard? That's yesterday's train. Huh? Yep. Things are getting so monopolous lately, us railroaders have got a new schedule. From 
now on. Today's trains are coming in tomorrow. What are you doing here? I'm here to meet my fiance. Your fiance? Now, just oh, wait a minute. Oh, What's the idea? It belongs to oh, me. And I... Oh, now I get it. You've been stealing my private mail, eh? How do you like that? Uma, please. Accusing me of his dirty work. Why, you. Well, I guess that'll teach you. Who do you think she loves now? Fight, fight, fight like two roosters all the time. You fight all over France and you are still fighting. Now you either stop those silly fighting or I get back on the train and go to Canada. Canada? Canada? Yes. And marry a nice gentleman who has beautiful manners. Do you hear me? There will be no more fighting. Vous avez compris? You understand? But baby, I'm the one you sent the letter to, honey, remember? I got the letter. Well, I should perhaps have explained. I sent you both letters. Hmm? Thanking you for the tickets of the boat. You too? 500 bucks worth. Well, it's perfectly simple. Give the little band back his tickets, honey. What makes you think she used your tickets? Because I asked her to marry me. So did I. Now tell him, sweetheart, which is it? Him or me? Well, both of you are so handsome. So intelligent. So distingué. It will depend. Just tell him, sweetheart, whose tickets you used. I cannot remember. But, honey, what happened to the tickets you didn't use? I exchanged that one for money. Well, that's wonderful. Now, you give that little fellow back his money, and we'll just settle the whole thing right now. But no, Shirley. That is for my little babies. Huh? huh? Your little what? Why, you rat. Whose babies? Why, you ought to be hanging your head in shame. You're, You're no good. Stop it. I will explain. I'm speaking of the babies who will someday bless my marriage. Oh, you mean, you mean then that they haven't arrived yet? Well, that, uh, that's different. Uh, she's speaking about our future children, old boy. Yeah, she's talking about ours, aren't you, honey? Please, you are in such a hurry. That is something. Wish will take time. Uh, what do you mean? Kissy, but we talk about it later. Now, at the moment, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm sorry, you poor little thing. You come with Pappy. Uh, we'll have a beer. Yeah, that's right. Come here. Uh oh, remember? No fighting. What is Kennedy for me?
<laughs> He's facing me head in jeep. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, yes. But I think it was more funny that other time, Boomer changed uniform with a gendarme, the policeman. <laughs> and like him up in his own jail. <laughs> yeah, and the, the poor Zap had to stand my trial. <laughs> you never gave him a chance to explain who he was. <laughs> 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 Am I boring you? Huh? Uh, of course not, honey. You haven't taken your eyes off that French poodle for over an hour. Who, me? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Pearl. <laughs> She's just giddy and silly. Probably very dumb. Which gives her a passing grade in any man's school. Oh, now, don't be foolish, honey. Kid can't even talk good English. Where have you been, brother? Accents like that can open more doors than a Phi Beta Kappa key. Oh, now, come on, sugar. She's just young and foolish. Hardly more than a child. Would after dinner be soon enough? Or should I leave right now? Uh, oh, you women. <laughs> well, I think this calls for a celebration. Hey, Bernard, rings all around, everybody. Name your weakness. How about you, baby? You tell Bernard what you'd like to have. For an occasion like this, I must have nothing less than champagne. Champagne, come on up. Champ... Well, you know, champagne. Well, our champagne shipment hasn't come in yet. What do you mean we haven't any champagne? Maybe not the vintage of 98, but there are other years just as good. Take the hair out of your eyes, Bernard. I'll show you where it is. Mind if I join the party? I know you don't want to hurt Jeff's feelings, honey, but I think we ought to tell him about you and me as soon as possible. You are very certain of yourself. Ignore him, baby. Any way you look at me, I'm the better man. I like poor men. You do. But I haven't made up my mind yet. However, the one who wins the logging race will also win me. Uh, mind if I join the party? <laughs> no, and go away. Who is this gentleman? Uh, he hangs around. Yeah, pool room type. Uh, my name is uh, Nick Roulard. Please, do sit down, Monsieur Roulard. Oh, thank you very much. That is a French name, no? Well, my grandfather was French. He was a count. Yeah, it means a no account. <laughs> Bourbon. Gin. Like a vodka. Oh, no, no, not vodka. Vodka. Got any bitters? Yeah, I got bitters, but I think we're out of formaldehyde. It's okay. How about some beer? Give it a little bite. Instead of giving it more bite, you ought to pull one of its eye teeth. It's a good idea. Ginger ale to sweeten it up. Grenadine. Gotta make it pretty. It's weak. Tequila. Oh, no. Tequila? Imported or domestic? Both. Well, I'm out of imported. I made this myself. Good. Try that on for size. Champagne. Merci. Just plain mercy. Well, where in the world did you get that? Do you want some or don't you? Uh, uh, of course. Vive les Américains, especially. The men. Mm. C'est bon. Un vin extraordinaire. More, please. Thank you. Huh. À votre santé. Mm, 
I like it. C'est bon. <coughs> yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> those cool decks yesterday. This stuff isn't piling up fast enough. We got a 20 section lead on Boomer's crew in the first 65 days. Push it up to 40. I'll do what I can. You have to do better than that. And tell the boys I expect a man-sized show from here on in. Listen, Sonny, I don't want to sound like I'm crate hanging, but that fella Jeff has sure got himself a lead. Why, he must be tearing them out along here with sky hooks. The winter's not over yet. You know what your trouble is? No, what? You're falling them fast enough, and you're bucking them fast enough. But, Sonny, you're not getting them into the river fast enough. You know why? No, why? Instead of stacking the logs along the river closest to where they fall, you are skidding them down the river two or three miles. That's right. Do you call that smart? Mm-hmm. It's, again, all logging nature. Maybe. When the spring thaw starts, my logs will go into the river spread out. They'll be booming along to the mill while Jeff will still be sitting up there trying to blast loose those five-story decks of his. You get it? That's a lot of extra bother to go to just for a dame. Oh, what's the matter, Weezer? Getting old? Camp one. Oh, it's you. How's that side show yours coming along over there, baby face? Hmm? Well, thanks for the compliments, old war buddy. Same to you and many of them. Can you use any help over there? Like to borrow some of my crew? Hmm? Don't you worry, honey. I wouldn't let that monster win you. There's nothing keeping us apart except for a couple of more months. Well, how do you like our latest edition, Hogan? Pretty as a picture. Yeah, like you said, pretty as a picture. Uh, you look, but uh, don't touch. Oui, mon chéri? Oui. <laughs> how am I doing with our French lessons, baby? Very good. You are making such fine progress. Am I, baby? Uh, hello, Pearl. We didn't expect you back until tomorrow. How was Oshkosh? Cold. How is it here? Warm? Uh, have something to thaw you out, darling? We just a brandy. Uh, give me one, too. Uh, make mine the same as before, Miss Sharon. Hogan and I have just been discussing some business. See, uh, Boomer's a little behind in his schedule, so I'm sending him Hogan to sort of even things up. I don't get the angle yet, but give me time. Hogan's a terrific bull of the woods, uh, aren't you, Hogan? That I can believe. Well, of course, that was before he was sent to the pen for stepping on somebody's head. 
Well, that was an accident, miss. I didn't mean to kick him so hard. Oh, he can talk. How cute. Merci. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Now, uh, remember, Hogan, on this job, no liquor. Oh, I never touch a drop on the job. Did I understand you to say you're sending this to help a woman? You sure make good money, Jim. She's ragout. Yeah, sure is. What Monsieur Nick sees in her, I don't know. She's so obvious, so transparent. I can see right through her. You can? I never noticed. Tell me, Bernard, is Monsieur Nick very rich? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Richer than Jeff and Boomer? Are you kidding? Them two? I got more money than them two put together. And I'm in debt. But they're great guys. Ain't nobody in the pine woods comes any finer. In the interest of good, clean sportsmanship, huh? That's Nick for you. Great guy. Honest as they come, too. The thing is, Mr. Benson, all I want is a chance to prove I can still work as good as I used to. Don't worry. You'll get plenty of chance. We're stretching the yarding as far down the river as we can. We intend to use dynamite to help the thaw along. Getting the jump on your pal, huh? You know about that? Why, sure. It's all over the state. What we need here is a good yard bull. The job is yours if you want it. It's a highball proposition all the way. That's for me, Mr. Benson. Uh, we'll go easy on the rough stuff. Okay, boss, I play the hand any way you want it. There's one thing I don't stand for in camp, Hogan. Oh, don't worry about that, boss. I never touch a drop of this stuff till the end of the round. Good. Show Hogan to the bunkhouse. I'll meet you at the landing. Okay, Sonny. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Ready? Just about. Weather reports? Yeah, the man says it's going to be a late thaw. We'll be lucky if we get started by April 1st, much less wind it up. Don't lose the bonus? Not a chance. You got plenty of dynamite? Oh, more than we need. Good. I'm going to keep this date if we have to blast that river open all the way to Osega. Shall we go? Yeah. Thank you, my dear. You going to be gone along, Nick? Barring any accidents beyond my control, Bernard, I shall return this evening. Give Boomer and Jeff a kiss on the cheek for me, will you, monsieur? <laughs> Wouldn't a message do just as well? Okay. Tell them, let's see, oh yes, tell them I wish I were in the great forest with them and having a wonderful time, too. <laughs> you sound as if you'd like to go with me. Oh, monsieur Nick, you cannot mean. It's so nice of you. But no, it would not be possible, would it? I don't see why not. All you need is a warm coat. Want me to ask Pearl for hers? I think I have just the thing in my office. But I look so horrible. Take off that apron and you'll be the best dressed lady that ever graced a logging camp. I cannot understand why Monsieur Nick is so sweet to poor little me. Maybe he's just doing it for Jeff and Boomer. There you are, my dear. <laughs> now, there we are. All set? All set. Let's be on our merry way. <laughs> hey, Nick. Yeah? What'll I tell Pearl? Uh, well, uh, just tell her I've taken the kid to Oshkosh to get her teeth fixed. <laughs> Oh, this land you? Not quite. I'm leasing part of it. Even so, it must take very many dollars. Well, it's somewhat speculative. <laughs> Why are we stopping? I thought you wanted to see some real timber country. Where is it? Right over there. Are you going to marry Pearl? Why do you ask that? She loves you. She does? Oh, you strong men of the woods. 
You are so stupid about women. Would you like to teach me? Okay, say. But Pearl is so much older and Would... so much wiser. Will you please keep Pearl out of this? But why? You are very flattering, monsieur. You're just making fun with me. You will please drive on, monsieur. The heart has made you dizzy. If I'm dizzy, young lady, it's the merry-go-round, not the height. Good job, Hogan. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Just wanted a chance to show you. Hiya, Boomer. Oh. Yeah, you look great. How are things going? Hogan working out all right? Yep. Hiya, Hogan. Keeping sober and industrious? Great guy, great kidder. <laughs> Jeff just told me that he's still got better than a 10-section lead on you. That's what he thinks. We don't send him the latest bulletins. Yeah, maybe he was just boasting a little to Miss Sharon. Who? Well, your girlfriend. I brought her up here to see you boys. Up here? Where is she? We stopped by Jeff's camp first. He took her out to show her around. Do you mean to say that you left her back there alone with that note? No, 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 Boomer. I'm sure the little lady knows what she's doing. After all, you couldn't expect her to... Uh... Well, it'd be a shame to leave just you and me here to finish up the job now that the long, hard winter's almost over. You and me? Uh, what about Boomer uh, and Jeff? Tell me, uh, Hogan. Do you think you could bring in both drives by the end of May? Well, I thought we had to deliver by April 1st. Uh, got a match? When the tree falls, we cut it into logs and skid them to the river. Skid them? That means we just haul them along with horses or a tractor, like that. And we stack the timber along the river, just like you see over there. Each stack is called a cold deck. A bunch of stacks mix up a landing. Where's that double-crossing boss of yours? If you mean Mr. Collins, you'll find him up on section four. That's what we call a flume. Très intéressant. Very interesting. I like the first way you said it better, honey. You know, when the thaw comes, we'll be sending logs down those chutes just as fast as we can dump them in. You are so clever. I know, I know. Um, when we go back to camp, would you mind going around this way? It's, it is if you're interested. Of course, sure. I'm interested in everything about you. Sometimes we cut in too far from deep water and we have to sluice the logs down to the river. You have such funny words. What means sluice? Well, it's sort of a wooden trough with water running down it. Off. What do you Boomer, mean? Jeff, care, stop it. I Boys, know, if you don't stop at one, I go to Canada. Everybody gone? Yeah. I hope you were right, giving the boys a week off to blow her in. Well, as long as we have to wait for the thaw, we might as well let the boys keep warm in town. Boomer's giving everybody the same deal. First drag day I ever saw you in camp. Sticking around? Are you kidding? I've just been waiting for you. You set? <laughs> oh, sure thing. Let's get out of here. Nice to see you again, John. Who's gonna win, boys? I'd like to make a safe little side bet. Ah, uh, it won't even be a contest. He means I'm a cinch. <laughs> Don't give away any secrets. <laughs> Think you're gonna win, Hogan? It's in the bag, Nick. Here, what's your hurry? I'm so busy, everybody's calling for me. Yeah, that's the trouble. We're jealous. Maybe she just doesn't want to be seen with you, baby face. Now, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I tell you what, I have one more order to serve, then I will be back. 
We will sing and be happy, just like old time. We? Oui? We? Oui. Yeah, we. Oui. You hurry back. We're lonely. Mm. Hiya, Jeff. Hi. Hello, baby face. Got a match, baby face? Yeah. No doubt about it, boys, the thaw is here. The way the snow is melting, the river will be a driving pitch in less than a week. I was an old river hog myself. I'll be in personal charge of the drive. Any objections? Say, where's Hogan? He should be here. Our river is a little bigger than Jeff's and a little farther to the south. That'll give us a slight edge on the thaw. But we'll all have to be in there working our heads off because... Well, I'm glad you could make it, Hogan. I was just laying out the details of the drive. Now, we'll blast at dawn at these three landings. At Eagles Point first, then at Moss Back, and then just a little below Memelus Rapids. That's it, boys. In the rap room. Driving down.
goes again. Uh, it's Boomer, all right. How about that? I still think it's a couple of days too early. Well, if he can do it, I can. Let's get with it. Found this guy messing around a dynamite shack. He say walks around here. I never seen him before. Do you know him? Yeah. Hammerhead Hogan. It seems to me I heard that you were working for Boomer. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Collins. I sure was. Oh, was? Yeah, I, I didn't like it over there. Nothing but a nosebag show. Say, you got a spot for me here, huh? Well, now, that's a good try, Hogan. But it isn't good enough. If I didn't need you to take back a message, I'd kick every one of your ribs in myself. You go back and tell that boss of yours if he's gonna try and follow me up, the least he can do is come and do it in person. I'm gonna count to ten, Hogan. And if you want out of here by the time I do, I'm gonna break every bone in your skull. I never thought old Boomer would pull anything like that on me. Boomer! Without dynamite, we can't do anything about the coal decks until the ice melts and they drop in by themselves. But that's no reason why we should sit around with our thumbs in our galluses. Perhaps you've wondered why I skidded those logs so far down the river this winter. Well, you'll see why now. The ice and snow has gone down below. All we have to do is push them off the hills, shove them into the flumes, grease the fore and aft roads, and let them rip. That way, we'll keep them moving. Come on, let's go. Take these men and start with that deck. Push everything in up to the flume. I'll meet you there. Okay. Come on, fellas. They'll be going over any minute now. Still think I'm wrong? That old river ain't raised up to drive in pitch yet. Ah, uh, she'll rise. She sure better. Well, them logs will be jammed so tight and thick, they'll be building a church on them. There they go! and aft road was a great idea of yours, Weezer. Maybe. The water still ain't raised up to drive and pitch. It'll come. It'll come. in trouble. No. Yeah, the river ain't got enough pitch to float as one. It's piling up in a sandbar off Chippewa Flats. Well, now, ain't it a shame? Go on. Say I told you so. Nah. I guess I ought to take the same chance. At least it's better than sitting around and awaiting. It comes out with the dynamite. I checked the new dynamite myself. Which one of you men are going to volunteer to plant the dynamite? 
Never mind, old timer. That's my job. You men are going to do the ruin. If we don't get them logs free, they'll be backing up clean to Eagle Point. Get that boat in the river. Come on, get going. About ready, Sonny? Yeah, ready. All right, fellas, lift. I'll be seeing you, old timer. Careful, Sonny. Must have been close. Nah, we would have won if Boomer hadn't busted that jam. That's the brakes. What do you have, Jeff? It's on the house. Well, nothing, thanks, Bernard. Is Nick in? Lucky guy. Better guy couldn't have won. Hmm. Sit down. No, thanks. I'm just here to collect what's due me, and then I'm going to shove off to Chicago. Pearl's over at the bank now. We were expecting you, boys. Go ahead, sit down. We'll have a nip of some of my private stock while we're waiting for it to come back. So you're not going to wait around for Boomer, eh? No, nope. I don't think Boomer needs me anymore. Well, <laughs> you never can tell. There you are. Well, uh, here's to the bride. It's hard for me to think of Boomer as being married. <laughs> That's funny. I've been thinking that same thing. Say, how about a little game of draw while we're waiting for Pearl? Okay by me. We haven't got much time. What do you say we make the whites a uh, dollar, huh? It's payday, isn't it? <laughs> Go ahead and deal them. Nothing wild, huh? Nothing wild. Open any pair? Any pair. Okay. Cut. Dealer Andy's a blue one, huh? One blue. I'll open for a buck. I'll stay. Uh, 
Let me have three. Three. Gonna have to raise you, Jeff. Yeah, huh? I'll call. We got full house. King's up. That's <laughs> tough luck, Jeff. Yeah. I'm gonna have to buy another stack. Okay, my boy. There you are. Here you go. Thank you. My deal, I believe. Mm hmm. Wonder what's keeping Pearl. Ah, uh, you know, women, no sense of time. <laughs> well, speaking of the damsel. Hiya, Pearl. What took you so long, sugar? I dropped in to see a gal about a little story from Oshkosh. Need I say more? Nick seems to be doing pretty well. I just can't seem to play him right. No wonder. Uh, hmm? <laughs> He's had a little tough luck. Let's give him a chance to break even. Yeah, let's. How many? Huh? The boss in, I want to get my money. He's busy. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Tell you the story of my life, Hogan. No. I was born in Weehawken some odd years ago. And he made me what I am today. So? Dull, isn't it? Yeah. Fifty. Hart uh, uh. Hall. What do you got? Pair of queens. Aces. Uh, you win. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Come to Papa. Well, hail the conquering sucker. Where's the bride? Why don't you ask her husband? Thanks, I will. Her what? In there. Why, what are you wait, wait, wait! You're congratulating the wrong guy. There's your man. Him? Sure. Tell him how you and Yvette got married over an Oshkosh day before yesterday, honey. Go on. Don't be bashful. You mean that all the time we were playing cards, he was... Yeah, why, you... Now, wait a minute, baby. I know, now, take it easy. Why blame him? Yvette must have had something to say about this. Yeah, sure, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, how about a little drink of my private stock, huh, fellas? All she was after was the richest guy in town. And... She... She picked him! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> She picked him, and I just cleaned him. He hasn't got a dime. I own his timber, his saloon, his money, the whole works. <laughs> after, no. after you left, he played the worst poker you ever saw in your life. Oh, no. Oh, I just remembered, Nick. Hogan's outside. He wants his dough for that little job he did on Boomer's Dynamite. Me first. But I'm the one he double-crossed. I'm the oldest. But I'm the biggest. Boss will see you now.
Oh, Jeff, that wasn't fair. Sorry, baby face, I just couldn't resist. What we need is a beer. You're so right. Hey. What's the matter? Wait a minute. Remember where we were? Oh, yes. Pardon me. Can either of you gentlemen tell me who's the owner of this establishment? Uh, he is. Well, we are. Bernard, draw three. Yeah, Bernard, draw three for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> 